Well, the university and the research center here have very ambitious goals for the, the, the sustainable village. One is to try and get as close, to we can, close as we can to being completely off of fossil fuel usage. Uh, no bulk fuel storage, uh, only renewable sources of energy to power it. Also, uh, to not have to tie into the waste stream to be able to handle water and wastewater in new and unique ways uh, that, are, that are more affordable in an infrastructural uh, context. Also socially to foster a, an environment where it makes sense to live in such a way that you're having less of an impact upon the immediate and larger environment. So a more walkable community, uh, a community that has more uh, a closer relationship to its food production, so in, in the terms of student gardening and, and uh, those types of things. Well, students will ultimately be the residents of this uh, development. There will be four units in the first phase. Uh, it'll be gra a mixture of graduate students and undergraduate students. And what better way to get students that, are, that want to be involved than to have a design ideas competition where students can posit what this village could look like, how it could act, how it could get off of, say, uh, fossil fuels, how it could handle wastewater, uh, how it could handle foundation design on permafrost. There's some restrictions, and one of them is you have to have more than two disciplines on a team. So no more than two people on each team can be from the same major. So if you have two structural engineering students, then that's the cap. You'll also need students from other majors. And they could be from anything, economics, business, agriculture, botany, uh, anthropology. And then together, they make a more well-rounded uh, vision. food, water, shelter, all of these things tied together in one small cluster of homes does two, two things. One, it eases the burden of, of development in any er single part of the university, but also it shows what's possible to other people. And so if you have a small cluster of, of closely knit homes with one central area that's producing uh, some of its own power or all of its own power, that's producing some of its own food, that is creating an, less of a need for uh, automobile usage, then what you're doing is you're creating a model that other folks can learn from and take back to their village or take back to their community, uh, whether it be urban or rural in the state. And all of our communities, they need those models right now. Mm -hmm.